So if you've had Windows 10 for more than about five minutes, you've already discovered one of the most annoying features, and that is the inability to turn off Windows updates. If you have any kind of document open and Windows decides it wants to update, it's going to restart your computer and not save anything. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two simple ways to turn off those Windows 10 updates so you'll never have to worry about your computer restarting and losing your files again. So the first way I'm gonna show you is using the Windows 10 services utility. Now, this will generally work for you, but as you can see, it's a little complicated if you want to easily turn your updates on and off. But here's how you do it. Go down to the search box, type in services, and you'll see the services app pop up on your screen. Scroll all the way down until you see Windows Update and double click it. Make sure under startup type, it is showing disabled. If this service is running, click on the stop button. So once you've done that, you have disabled the Windows Update service. From this point on, your computer will no longer get Windows updates until you go back into this utility and re-enable this, turn it on, start the service, and so on. But I found a much easier way to do this very quickly using a free program called Windows Update Blocker. So I'm going to put the link in the description for you. So just click on the link and it'll take you to the program. Totally free. On the web page, you go down here to the section where you have the download option. Click on download. Give it a few seconds and then it will prompt to download. Go ahead and save the file. When the program is finished downloading, you need to open the zip file and extract the contents. So I right click on the download. Go to open containing folder. As you can see here, it's wb.zip. I just right click on the file drag over here to the right and click extract to and we're this option here where it creates its own subfolder this program is what's called a standalone program so what that means is it doesn't have to be installed so you want to probably move it from your default download folder i'm just going to drop it right here on the main part of my c drive and now you can see i have this folder here once the files have been extracted you can either click on the wub.exe for the 32-bit version, or if you have a 64-bit Windows, click on that one that has x64. Give it a second. The program will open. And as you can see here, it's very simple. Enable updates, disable updates. In this case, I want to disable the updates. Click Apply Now. Wait just a couple seconds, and you're done. So basically what you've done is used a free, easy-to-use program to basically go through the Windows services utility and uncheck all that stuff that I just showed you earlier. But the advantage to this is that you can put a shortcut on your desktop and very quickly access it. Here's all you have to do. From that file, just right click on that file, select send to, and then desktop create shortcut. Now, if you look here, there is now a shortcut on the desktop and I'm going to rename it. You don't have to, but I like to rename stuff so I know exactly what it is. And as you can see, it says Windows Update Blocker. Now all I have to do is double click it, and in just a couple seconds, I can re-enable or disable my Windows updates. And that is all you have to do to turn off the Windows updates in Windows 10 so it never restarts on you and never forces you to lose a document or a paper you're working on. And as you can see, it's a very simple one-click enable or disable and you're done you can turn it on and off as need be now of course i recommend if you can keep the windows updates coming because there are security updates provided by microsoft so they are important in a situation where you're working on something important and you need to make sure windows does not update and restart your computer that is a fantastic little tool to have. Hope you got some helpful information from this video. Make sure to comment down below and let me know how this works out for you. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell to get notified every time I make new content like this, and I'll keep cranking them out for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.